Hi everyone and welcome back to Gabriella's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make cacio pepe. Really quick and easy pasta dish and it only takes three ingredients. Pepe, cheese and pasta. Let's get to it. So cacio pepe is literally just cheese and pepper. That's how simple it is. For this you'll need some peppercorns. You can just use your pepper grinder, that'll work fine and then some cheese. Traditionally, it is made with pecorino cheese, which is really similar to Parmesan. It's a hard, salty, nutty cheese. If you can't get hold of it, you can just use some Parmesan though, not to worry at all, and then some spaghetti or whatever pasta of your choice. So in my pestle and mortar now, I've got my peppercorns. You could just use a chopping board with a heavy rolling pin or a bottle to crush them. The reason why I would crush them fresh for this recipe is because there's so few ingredients, it's really important that we're using the best quality. So often when you have peppercorns in your grinder, you don't know how long they've been there and they've been grinded already so they're not as strong or perfumed. So by doing this, starting off with them whole and crushing them ourselves, we're going to release all the natural oils, the aromas. So I'm just going to gently start to crush them. The best way to do it is just to bang gently and start to use your weight and roll the mortar around the pestle. Once you push your peppercorns, you want to keep them different textures, so keep some a little bit chunkier, some quite fine. It really doesn't take long. I'm going to put that straight into a dry pan that I've got on a low heat. You really don't want to burn these, you want to toast them. Like with any spices, you want to really sort of dry roast them just to help release the smells and the aromas. So in a dry pan, on a low medium heat, I'm just going to gently start to toast these. You'll know when they're starting to toast as they heat up because you'll start to get an incredible smell in the kitchen. So just keep the pan moving. So our peppercorns have been nicely toasted, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take some of our pasta water and just drop that straight in. And what we're creating here is like a really nice peppery little broth, which is going to be the base to our sauce for our cacio pepe. So we're ready to start cooking our pasta now. Whenever we're cooking pasta, we always salt our water to season it. But because we're using so much cheese, like pecorino and parmesan, it's a super salty cheese. And because we're using this cooking liquid, I only add a tiny, tiny pinch of salt, opposed to a bigger handful. So we've got our toasted peppercorns that are just cooking away in that nice little broth we've just made. We've got our pasta cooking in our boiling water. And now we're going to make the base of our sauce. So in this bowl, I've got a mixture of pecorino and parmesan. And what we're going to do is I've just taken a little ladle of that cooking pasta water. I'm going to add a little bit at a time, mix it together. And what we're looking for is a nice thick paste. And this is what's going to make our pasta sauce really creamy. is still really al dente so by that I mean it's still got a really good bite to it that's what I'm looking for taking that straight out and putting that into my peppercorn broth I want to finish cooking this pasta in this broth okay, and as this pasta finishes cooking all the starch is going to start to be released from the pasta and that's going to make the sauce even creamier if you start to feel like your pan's getting a little bit dry just add another little ladle of stock just remember to add less you can always add more and just keep it moving around the pan with your tongue. We're going to really encourage all that starch to come out of the pasta. You can start to see this creamy sauce that's happening just by the spaghetti all by itself. At this point, we're ready to add our cheese. So I'm taking the pasta off the heat and to that I'm going to add that little cheese paste mixture we made before straight into the pasta. And what you want to do now is just really work that cheese mixture through, keep the pan moving, and you'll slowly, slowly start to see the most incredible cheesy sauce start to happen. Just putting it back on the heat really quickly for an extra 30 seconds, just to really thicken that sauce up even more. Taking it off the heat and you can just see how creamy that looks ready to plate so I'm just using a ladle just to get a nice round portion straight onto your serving dish and if you want squeeze some over that really nice cream sauce just to finish a little grind fresh cracked black pepper there you have it guys, catch your pepe.